really crazy that we're outside today because it's been pouring all day long, except for right now. You know, if you live here long enough in Seattle, you get a sense of what we call rain indicators, whether it's going to rain today or not. You don't even need to see a weather forecast. One of them is the moisture in the air. It's pretty heavy today. Another is the grayness of clouds, whether it's gray, 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 or gray, gray, gray with lots of moisture and it's going to fall on us as heavy rain. You know, it's kind of a stretch, but you can say the same in global health, that there are these health indicators that kind of give us a snapshot of how well a country is doing in terms of its health. And some of the top health indicators include uh, infant mortality, that's really big, um, child mortality, which is under five, life expectancy, how long does a population or country live? In Monaco, it's 89 years, while in Chad, on the continent of Africa, it's not even 49 years. You know, so some other health indicators, it's disease, disease incidence and prevalence. Another is uh, disability adjusted life years. So these health indicators really do give us a snapshot of how well a country or population is doing in terms of its health in much the same way that if we pay attention in Seattle to our rain indicators, we can tell if we need to take an umbrella or we might even get to put on some sunscreen.